The other method of garbage collection I would like to cover is the idea of reachability, uh, which is also known as tracing. And what we're going to learn today is the mark and sweep algorithm. Uh, the idea is that you look at your memory as a graph and you, you, it proceeds, the algorithm proceeds in two phases. In the first phase, you will mark all, um, you'll start with uh, the globals. So you will have some, uh, a set of possibly, usually you could be one or it could be multiple. The idea is you, you're going to start, those are your starting points. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to traverse all memory starting from those points, okay? And all the memory you visited, you will mark it. Um, this is the first stage. The second stage is you will go over all memory now, not just the starting point, but all memory. And if all any reference was not visited, you can safely, um, you can safely collect it. The key point here is uh, this algorithm takes care of um, any kind of groups that are all connected, but are not reachable via the initial points. Uh, and this is a crucial thing, uh, which is what I showed you before. So what you really want to do, if you want to have to be, you know, more uh, efficient at capturing all the data. So again, this is more about completeness. Uh, reference counting was enabled to eventually, uh, eventually recover the data or, or reclaim, sorry, eventually reclaim the data. That's what I, uh, that was our motivation to go to another algorithm. So reference counting does not work with our application. Reachability, however, would because it goes through the initial environment and sees what can be reached. Everything that can be reached is being used. Everything else can be discarded. That's the basic idea. Um, so now let's look at our example. Um, and if we start from E0, E0, we go to the frame, and then from the frame, we look at all the references that can be mentioned here. Uh, there's a single closure, which means from E0, I go back to E0, but E0 I've already visited, which means our, our search ends here. So now E1, E2, and E3 are not reachable via E0. So I can safely reclaim them. Okay. So in the mark stage, what I get is a set with only containing E0. And in the collect stage, I notice that E1 is, was not marked, and E2 was not marked, and E3 was not marked. Therefore, they all can be reclaimed. So here's the visualization of, of the algorithm. Here's another example, where if we start with E0, again, E0 points to itself, uh, E1 points to E0, E2 points to E0, but because we start from E0, we cannot reach them. So we're here. If we were to start from E1, we would capture E1 and E0, but E2 would be reclaimed. So now let's go over a few um, characteristics of mark and sweep. First of all, there is no allocation or update times. So you don't have to do this referencing and there's no cascading effect because essentially you just allocate something, you just point to it. There's also no uh, memory overhead of the counter. Um, what you do need to do is you need to stop the world to go through the whole memory, right? You, you want to be careful while you're traversing the graph and marking what has been visited. Now, if the graph changes midway, you will have a hard time. Actually, the most efficient algorithms do accept that, but in a simplistic view, such as what I taught you, there is no such concern, You, but it does assume that you have to stop the world. So while you're doing the mark and sweep, nothing else could be happening. Okay. Um, there is one problem though, and this is when you have a uh, language such as, when you're using language such as C, such as C to implement this, which is uh, usually you have um, some memory region that you have used uh, if you are marking and then you want to traverse all of it, usually what you want to do is you need to have double the amount of memory so that you can move data around from one space to the other. What The way we're going to learn mark and sweep or the way you're going to implement mark and sweep, this doesn't apply, so it's not that important for us. Um, 
another problem is that reclamation of data is not ver is not predictable, um, in the sense that the programmer usually does not have control over when reclamation is happening and therefore when the world is going to be stopped. So these there's these um, clicks in the profiler and those spikes is when the memory garbage collection is happening. Uh, so here's there's another example where if we start from E2, uh, E2 is pointing to E0 and E0 is not pointing to anyone else. So therefore E1 will be deleted. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, there will be a homework exercise on implementing Mark and Sweep.